In today's video, we talk about the big mistake that copywriters and digital marketers make when it comes to their own branding and content strategy for social media. Oh, and before we begin, make sure to crush that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Hey, my name is Karan Dharamsi and I'm the CEO of The Marketing Nerds and welcome to The Marketing Nerds Podcast. So let's talk about the big mistake that copywriters, digital marketers make. And I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you are either a copywriter, a digital marketer or both. And this mistake, I believe, is predominant in the industry now. I was recently observing a few accounts of people who are digital marketers and copywriters. And in their accounts, I typically see content which is more catered towards you know people who actually want to become digital marketers or copywriters so in a nutshell you know the digital marketers accounts that i was looking at were talking about which hashtags to use the seo strategy and you know things like that and copywriters were talking about headline formula how the aida formula which is all great and cool but you know think about it that content where you're teaching something about your industry is only appealing to a potential student or somebody who wants to become a digital marketer or a copywriter. Is it really appealing to a potential client? I bet not. So as a copywriter or a digital marketer, when you are posting content and I am assuming with a hope of acquiring or attracting new clients, your content needs to talk about the benefit that the client would have when you work with them as a copywriter or a marketer. It shouldn't be about teaching them technical stuff. Clients aren't interested in learning copywriting or digital marketing. They are just keen on doing their business and they need your help as a copywriter or a marketer to help them grow their business. So when you plan your content strategy, think about, hey, what's the benefit for the client a potential client when he looks at my content how can i handle the objections that he may have when it comes to hiring my services or how can i show him that hey when he hires me the roi is going to dramatically increase because hey remember this at the end of the day all clients care about is roi how is it going to get him more attention or grow the brand or you know get more sales right that's all clients care about they don't care about learning the technical stuff so if you are a copywriter or a marketer trying to put out content in a hope to attract clients use the strategy stop posting technical stuff you may have people who are looking at learning engage with the content but you aren't really going to be able to convert a lot of clients because of that content so a really important thing to keep in mind with your content and branding strategy is the message to market match which is an important marketing principle first understand your market really well who is your potential audience and you know, in most cases it's going to be people who run businesses right they are going to hire copywriters and marketers right so what do they need that's a logical question you would ask yourself they need roi they need more branding they need their copies to convert they need their ads to convert they need their emails to convert right so in a nutshell they need more ROI and more brand awareness. So that's where your content should be focused at, not seven tips to you know which hashtags to use or uh, which keywords to use. That's more t on the lines of technical stuff, which the client isn't really going to sit and read. So there's a complete lack of understanding when it comes to you know the message to market match. Now, when it comes to my own content, you may look at my content and say that, hey, but isn't that you yourself post stuff which is more technical about copywriting about digital marketing so why are you defying your own advice and i agree if you look at my content majority of my content is focused on you know talking about those technical aspects of copywriting and marketing but here is the thing you need to keep in mind the way i attract and get new clients is not through social media social media is not my client acquisition funnel i am not using facebook or instagram or youtube for that matter as a channel to attract new clients i have different ways to attract new clients and majority of it happens offline and because my goal isn't to attract clients clients from my social media accounts or from my youtube channel so my content is focused on teaching stuff 
which is more technical in nature to aspiring copywriters and digital marketers. But had I been focused on using my social accounts to attract new clients, I would have used a completely different content strategy on my social media accounts. My content would have been on completely different lines. So I hope that helps you understand how you need to differentiate yourself, the content that you need to focus on depending on which audience you are trying to attract. Of course, if you plan to you know, teach aspiring copywriters or marketers how to write a better copy and, and if you plan to move into education as a source of revenue by selling courses and offering coaching or mentorship then you know that kind of a content works well because you're educating your target audience and solving and answering the questions that they have in their mind but if your eventual goal which i believe is for a large majority of copywriters and marketers which is to attract new clients which is where you actually make more money then your content has to be focused on what's in it for your clients not the technical stuff but how is their business going to get better if they hire you as the marketer or the copywriter so stop making that content mistake stop copying what the rest of the world is doing and get really focused on understanding your market match your content to the expectations of the market and the problems and the questions that they have and boom you will start pulling in more qualified leads into your client acquisition funnels I hope this helps. This is me Karan Dharamsi signing off for today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys soon.